hi everyone welcome back to my channel so for today i thought that i would do my autumn must-haves i don't think i did one of these last year there is quite a bit of stuff to mention in this video but i just want to sort of put it out there i am not telling you you have to go and buy these particular things for it to feel like autumn or for any other reason i just absolutely love all of these products I find that i get most wear out of majority of them obviously around this time of the year autumn winter is my favorite time of the year i absolutely love it i'm going to leave all the products down below that i mentioned and i'll try and find the prices for everything although some things I did buy a while ago so it might be quite difficult to find but all the information will be down in the description box. Also feel free to leave down below in the comment section your autumn must-haves if I don't mention it or mention anything like it please leave them down below because I'd be really interested to know what you enjoy or also if you know of any good dupes for any products that I happen to mention or similar products please leave them down below because I would be really interested to know about them. So let's get started. So the first thing for me that comes to mind when I think of autumn is candles. I love candles. I'm a candle freak. Both of these candles are from Bath and Body Works. And the first one is Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. And oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Number one, I absolutely love the packaging and the lid is like a leaf. I love it. It's a three wick candle. And to me, it just smells like autumn. I'm horrific at describing smells, but this to me is autumn. I can't really smell too much pumpkin but I think that's where the sort of sweetness comes from. This also doesn't smell too Christmassy with the pumpkin in here. It's definitely an autumn scent, which is perfect. Oh, I just absolutely love it. But that is the first one. Second one is this one, which is Honey Crisp Apple, which smells to me like when you bite into a really juicy apple. Again, I love the packaging on this. The lid, if you can see, is different to the other one. It's kind of like a dented top, if you can see that. It smells exactly like what they're called, if that makes sense. Because sometimes candles, I find, can be a little bit wishy-washy, whereas these definitely aren't. I'm super impressed. So when I think of clothes and accessories for autumn, I think of boots. And these ones I picked up not too long ago from Miss Selfridge. I love how tall they are with jeans or with leggings or anything like that that can be tucked into them if you want to. They have a really decent heel on the back. What more can I say? What more can I say? Next thing is a decent scarf. Now I picked this one up I want to say three years ago now oh my god three years ago in Zara this is what it looks like it's absolutely huge I folded this over about 15 times Zara have amazing scarves I think this was 19 pound and like I mentioned I've had it for three years which to me is just like an absolute bargain over that period of time is super big super comfortable it's not like an itchy scarf at all definitely check out Zara for scarves and obviously with the boots that I just showed you you can really dress up an outfit with these or you can be super casual in flats with this and I just love it goes with everything so that's that then on to hats I picked this one up the other day in Primark it's like a khaki green with a big bubble on the top it also goes with my Zara scarf but for two pounds you just can't go wrong with that so that's that another hat that I absolutely love around autumn is this big one here if you can see it looks like someone sitting next to me hello it's not the easiest to show in a video I'll be honest but I picked this one up last year in Dorothy Perkins I can't remember how much this was but that's that then on to clothing this I picked up a few weeks ago in Primark it was £10 and it is a poncho this is what it looks like that bit there is the bit that goes obviously around your neck this is the pattern that is on it all the way down I really like the cut of it it's all like different layers it's not like straight across which I really like this comes in one size it doesn't have arms or anything in it as it is a poncho but I think paired with a belt it would look really nice so that's that and then the last thing is a parka coat. Now, who doesn't love a parka coat around this time of the year? This one is from ASOS and it's the summer parka. I got it in the sale a few weeks ago. Okay, so the first thing I've just noticed is the hood comes off. You can unzip the hood. I didn't know that. It's got ties on it here around the waist. On the sleeves, it's got like the tighter bit that goes around your wrist, which I much prefer. I find it really comfortable and warmer. And then, like I said, it has a good hood on it, but obviously you can take that off if you want to. I'm not sure if they still have this on the website, but it's the ASOS Summer Parker. It was in the sale. Price will be linked down below because I can't remember. <laughs> so that is it for accessories and clothes. Now is on to makeup. 
to start off with, I'm going to talk about nails. I picked these up a little while ago now in Primark for the nails that I'm wearing today. I got them in the shade Stone Cold and then I also got them in the shade Poison which is like completely the other end of the spectrum. But for a pound in Primark I just don't feel like you can go wrong. These do come with glue as well in them but all I will say is don't buy the Primark own one because I did and there was nothing in there. It was 60p for two big pots. Put your 60p towards another packet if you want <laughs> next is on it to perfumes and again i'm not saying that you have to buy these particular ones these are just two that i love around this time of the year so the first one which is the more affordable one is the lady gaga eau de gaga i got this when it was on offer i think it was 20 pound in boots and this is a 75 milliliter bottle i'm awful with smells but to me it's just like a really spicy perfume and i also love the bottle just saying then the pricier one is the YSL Black Opium. This is absolutely amazing. I've literally just run out of it and this is the 30ml bottle. I literally have like nothing left. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's a dark scent, but it's not a light scent, if that makes sense. <laughs> I feel like this is just absolutely perfect around this time of the year. So that is that. I will buy you again because I love it then on to a product that I actually have never seen anyone else on YouTube mention obviously someone will but I've never seen it in like a favorites or anything like that and this is the Chanel professional eyeliner duo it comes with two different shades there's like a jet black one here and then this one has more of a sparkle to it but they look like eyeshadows in the pan they look like eyeshadows and when you rub your finger across them not much happens as you can see it just looks like a bit of a mess however when you add liquid of some sort, I like to use the Avon Makeup Setting Spray, you literally spray the tiniest little bit of this into here. And then I get this brush, which I think I got from Crown, I want to say, and it's the Sable Angle Liner brush. I just tend to use the jet black one. Dip it in, and oh my god, it is the best eyeliner I've ever used. Obviously, being Chanel, it's going to be more pricey. You could use whatever type of brush you want with it to sort of create different looks. So I think it's a really versatile product, and I absolutely love it. I don't know what I would do about it. I am obsessed. Thank you, Chanel, for that. Then on to blushes. There are three. Two are from Max. The first one is Mocha, which is this shade here. I am a bit disappointed with this because it's gone all funny i haven't even had it that long so not sure what's going on with that i'm having to like scrape the top layer off all the time but this is a really nice shade if you're into your pinks around this time of the year because it's kind of like a purpley pink so that's that one the second one from mac is one that i picked up from Bista village and i'm wearing it today so you can see what it looks like it is crisp whites if i can open it and this is a sort of blush that i would never ever think to go for around autumn i just think if you've got dark eyes and a dark lip then you might want something that's a little bit more kind of neutral on the cheek and i just absolutely love it so that's that one then the last one is from dior and this is in the shade brown millie this to me is just like the perfect blusher for autumn i could wear it every single day it is very very similar to mocha however i think it's just slightly more pigmented than mocha it's just a beautiful beautiful blusher and it does come with a brush as well but i just don't use that it always falls out and it's got a decent size mirror on it as well but i absolutely love this blusher amazing amazing and obviously the packaging being dior is just beautiful it's just beautiful next is on to highlighter now i feel like highlighter is gonna look amazing in autumn i think with really dark glamorous makeup i think it would just look amazing so i've picked out three and hopefully i've picked out something for everyone so first one i'm going to start off with the affordable one it is by the brand w7 and it's called the hollywood bronze and glow i feel like this is 100 an amazing dupe for the charlotte tilbury film star bronze and glow but this literally was two pound the only thing i don't like is the mirror that's the mirror and it's just i'd rather it not be there because it's just a bit pointless to me however the products on this are so good the highlighter especially it's a really white highlight which i think just looks really pretty so that is that the next two are more expensive and this one is the anastasia glow kit the one that i've absolutely been loving is this one which is bubbly i haven't really tried many of the other ones yet i've just really gone for bubbly i mean look at it it's just amazing and then the last one is this which is the becca jacqueline hill palette it looks like this if you haven't seen it i actually won this one in a giveaway oh 
I mean, can we just appreciate it? But this comes with champagne pop and Prosecco pop and they are just absolutely stunning. So I cannot wait to try that. I think that I actually prefer champagne pop, but they're just absolutely lovely highlighters. So hopefully I've mentioned ones for everyone. <laughs> and then last but not least are lip products. You know me. I love other lip products. So I'm gonna start off with lip liners and two that I know I'm gonna be using the most are both from MAC. One is Whirl and the other one is Spice. Whirl has more of a purple tone to it and Spice is more of a nude brown kind of shade, but they are both quite dark. These are both Turpan 50 in MAC and I know that I'm just gonna be using these a lot over the next few weeks, so that's that. Next is on to lipsticks, I'm gonna start off with liquid lipsticks. So two of them are by NYX, these are the lingerie liquid lipsticks, they're matte finish. I have had quite a few comments and questions about these since I did my swatch video of these, and a lot of people said they don't really like them because they're super drying. I 100% agree that they can be really, really drying and they can be a nightmare to get off. However, if you only use one coat of them, I think it's absolutely fine. When I tend to do more than one coat, they become a little bit kind of flaky and I don't like that at all. It's really uncomfortable to wear, but just one coat of these is absolutely perfect. So the first shade I'll talk about is Honeymoon. Ignore the highlighter, but that's what Honeymoon looks like. It's a really deep tone brown, but I think that it's a really wearable one. So that's the first one, that's Honeymoon. And the second one is this one, which is Embellishment and this, oh my God, I love it already. That one is embellishment, which is more of a purple tone. Love that. Don't know what else I can say about it. Love the shade of it. Then the final one is this one, which I also got in a giveaway. This is a Kat Von D liquid lipstick. This is like a matte finish one in the shade Lolita. And that's that one there on the end. I do have another one of these, which is in the shade Lovesick, which is more of a purple tone. I just think that they're all really different and all really nice colors. So that is the last one. Then onto the final thing, which is lipsticks. And the first one is the one I'm wearing now, which is the Avon Perfectly Matte Lipstick in the shade O Natural. This is quite a light shade for autumn. However, I've paired it with Charlotte Tilbury's Iconic Nude Lip Liner. That is the shade of that one there. I mean, it's just beautiful. I think that this shade is perfect if you are the type like me when you don't wanna wear colors that are too dark because you probably don't feel like they suit you or you don't want to stand out too much. This one is perfect for you. And obviously being Avon, it's really affordable. If you wear a darker lip liner, but with a lighter lipstick, it just looks amazing. Next one is from Avon again, perfectly matte and it is superb wine. I absolutely love these lipsticks. That one there. I mean, oh, it's just stunning, absolutely stunning. So that is always a winner. If you were after more of a high-end lipstick, which I mean, who doesn't love that? This one is Bond Girl by Charlotte Tilbury. And this is stunning. That is Bond Girl by Charlotte Tilbury. It's actually really similar to Lolita from Kat Von D. I love the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks because they are super creamy. Don't know what else I can say about it. It's Charlotte Tilbury, you know it's gonna be good. And that is it for this week's video. So I hope that you enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Everything is linked down below. All the products and the prices that I could find are all linked down below. If you would like to know more about them, all of my social media links are also down below if you want to follow me in any of that. What is going on with my hair? Why have I all of a sudden got like a comb over? Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it so I know that you like this kind of video and also make sure to subscribe. And if you're feeling nice, then make sure to check out my second channel, which I will also link down below. It's literally Gracie Sons and Vlogs, but I will leave it linked down below and it's also in the little sidebar down there somewhere. Somewhere down there. I'm also gonna be doing Vlogmas on there, so I will see you all next week for another video. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another Lush haul. Lush have brought out all of the Christmas stuff, so of course I was in there like swimwear.